listening to the most original talk radio station anywhere. We are L.A. Talk Radio at LATalkRadio.com. From the L.A. Talk Radio studios in Encino, Los Angeles, California, it's After Dark Radio with Abby and Cuban. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our best show ever. So you want to be a star, huh? (laughs) And now here's Abby. Abby, go. Thank you all for joining me today. Paul, take it easy, man. (laughs) I'm so excited. I can't help it. Well, uh, we have such a great uh, topic today. What does it take to be a star? So, uh, you want to be a star? Uh, Want to end up on a cover of People's Magazine? Or how about getting into a cover of Rolling Stone? Wait, wait. Was that um, a song, Paul? Actually, you know, you're right, Abby. Cover of the Rolling Stone. It was a big uh, hit by Dr. Hook. Yeah, you're right. Okay. (laughs) Well, there are no guarantees you'll be a star, but you have to know what to do, and we have the guest to talk about it tonight. Um, You've heard the expression, inside tracks, uh, big leagues, well-respected. We are very thrilled. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Tim Sweeney. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hi, Tim. How are you today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. Uh, Did you drive from Temecula to here? I did, actually. Oh, wow. (laughs) You know, uh, of course, hey, to be on the show, what's a couple hundred miles? You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm flattered. <laughs> so Tim Sweeney, everybody, is an author for more than 28 years, has been the true artist developing person and independent music consultant and one of the music industry's most respected, respected experts in the areas of artist development, uh, record promotion, distribution, and retail marketing. He has worked with over 1,000 major label record labels and uh, is it record labels or independent? Uh, Both, actually, independent artists and record labels. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So, Tim, as a coach and a mentor, how does someone identify their own talent or interest? How can they say that they can be a singer or an author or could be a dancer? I know, who knows. Well, I think, you know, in today's day and time, it's a lot easier than it was. I mean, you know, obviously we're in a YouTube generation now. The Internet is fully in swing, of course, and so people can kind of self-declare themselves as a celebrity Mm -hmm. right off the bat, which before you really had to kind of be discovered by a company or people and, you know, build a foundation. A lot of times now people can just declare that I'm a celebrity and stuff, but still means you have to go out and do the foundation work of, preferably learning to sing and and do the uh, entertainment talent aspect of things so you do have a good foundation to it. Yes. Can you mention some of the basic steps to becoming a star, like musician, writers, or author, uh, movie stars? Or mm-hmm. Well, I, I think the biggest thing is right now is the first thing that a lot of people have to realize is it all comes down to branding. You know, you have to be willing to promote yourself. We're no longer in a generation where you just put something out and something magically happens. Um, You know, we are in a time frame a lot of times with, like, iTunes, for example, where, um, you know, people will just play stuff up there. And the hope is that, uh, you know, people will find them. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, anybody can record something. And just put it up there. And it doesn't mean out of the millions of tracks or songs that are up there that somebody's going to find them. So you really have to be out promoting yourself all the time through your social media contacts and and the people you meet. You really need to talk to people and let people know what you're doing. Absolutely. So what should a talent bring to the stage? Well, I think in today's day and time, you have to bring your own audience. That's the biggest thing. You can't count on the media to just jump up and recognize your ability to be good. The media wants to see a story, and you have to uh-huh. have something unique about you that you've, in essence, marketed or you're putting out. There has to be some different dynamic about you, not just saying, here I am, everybody needs to pay homage to me. 
It, yeah. it really needs to be, what is my story? What am I unique? What am I doing that's going to catch people's attention that makes them want to focus on me? Uh, do you mean also it's important that people get to know the person? I mean, before in the old days when you had the singer on, on TV or on the radio and you had that big wall between uh, the artist or the singer, but nowadays it seems like with YouTube and Facebook and all the social media, I mean, how important it is for a person to get to be known, Tim? Well, I think that's very important now is the value of the person is everything. Um, there's a lot of celebrities that come out and, you know, the idea is, hey, I'm in this particular movie, I've written this book, whatever, and they kind of get into this old-fashioned idea sometimes of, you know, the mystery. I don't want to be too close to people. I don't want to let people know who we are, or who mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. And then, of course, people don't have an interest. People like the real life story. They want to be connected to you as an artist, as a person, what's going on kind of thing. Yeah. And I think that's a big generational change that people have to be in the mind for is, mm -hmm. what am I doing that's going to capture people's attention? Oh, yeah, Paul. What am I doing? <laughs> well, you're doing great. No, I've got to say, <laughs> put me on the spot. Okay. No, no, I've been working with Abby for a while. And the one thing that she does do is she reaches out to people on Facebook herself. Right. I mean, she will actually talk to them. She'll have established some relationships with some of them, too. Yeah. So, And that really works for her. You know, Is that is that the right approach? Exactly. It's, as I describe it to every artist, it's almost like you're running for political office. Mm -hmm. You should be talking to every person in the room, okay. not because who they are now, mm -hmm. but you don't know who they become later. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the thing, too, is... You know, we we've seen big changes. For example, in the in the journalism department in entertainment, yeah. people used to be a writer for one publication. Now mm -hmm. they have their own website, a blog. They're writing for three or four different magazines. Mm -hmm. So one person could be five or six major contacts or media outlets mm -hmm. for you. So things have changed to where you have to get to know the person as a person and what they are specifically looking for. I have like over 5,000 friends on my Facebook, so I don't think I'll be able to talk to them. Like, but I tried my best, actually. Like, you know, if there's birthdays, I always greet them and, you know, like right. just keep them up to date on what's going on in my life. So I don't know if I'm actually well, you <laughs> well, no, doing you a are great doing, job. You're yeah. doing great. I you think. need to separate yeah. out. That's mm -hmm. the thing, too. It's a yeah. lot of times, you know, artists forget their hometown area. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, if you're an artist in L.A., you should separate out your people on Facebook oh. so you know who lives here. So if you're doing a performance oh. of some kind, you're inviting those people specifically oh. to come mm -hmm. and not somebody who's 3,000 miles away <laughs> that <true>. can't see <laughs> it, unless it's going to be on the Internet mm -hmm. and they can mm -hmm. enjoy it as well. Yeah. It should be, here's what I'm doing. And, you know, one of the tricks that I've done for years is always be there first mm -hmm. and be the last to leave. Ask mm -hmm. people, come and meet me for dinner. Come meet me for drinks. Come talk to me. And get the fans to interact with each other. Get, mm -hmm. get every show you have as a social event. Mm -hmm. So people want to come out. They want to bring their friends. They want to have a good time. And then you're the last person who leaves. So everybody gets a chance to talk to you and gets to know you. And you get to know them. Oh. From the LA Talk Radio Studios in Encino, Los Angeles, California.